find the LCM and HCF of 56 and 70. To find the HCF and LCM, first we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. That is C. 56, 70. Okay, next. For this number, last digit 6, even so we take 2 here. The first number 5, a number close to 5 in 2 table is 2, 2 is 4. 5 minus 4, 1, 1 carried forward making it 16. When do we get 16 in 2 table? 2, 8, 16. Now here last digit 8, even so we take 2. The first number 2, when do we get 2 in 2 table? 2 ones 2. The other number 8, when do we get 8 in 2 table? 2 fours 8. Now here we got 14, 14 is 2 sevens 14. Now we have 7, 7 is a prime number, so 7 ones 7. Now the other number, 70 last digit is 0, so we take 5 here. The first number 7, a number close to 7 in 5 table is 5 ones 5. 7 minus 5, 2, 2 carried forward making it 20. When do we get 20 in 5 table? 5 fours 20. Now here we have 14, 14 is 2 sevens 14. Now we have 7, 7 is a prime number, so 7 ones 7. So now our HCF is HCF is the product of numbers which should be present over here and also here. I repeat, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present in these two places, here and also here. So now let us find the numbers which are present here and here. Starting with the number 2. Do we have 2 here? Yes. So you cut 2 and write here. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. Next number 7. Do we have 7 here? Yes. So you cut 7 and write here. No more numbers have been left. So our HCF is 2 into 7, 14 is our HCF. Now to get LCM, whatever HCF we got, we should multiply by the numbers which we did not cut. What I mean is C. Over here we did not cut 2, so now you cut 2 and write here. Now you cut this 2 and write here. Now over here we did not cut 5, so you cut 5 and write here. Now each number has been cut. Okay. So our LCM is 14 into 2, 28 into 2, 56 into 5. 5, 6, 30. So, 0, 3. 5, 5 is 25 plus 3, 28. So, 280 is our LCM. Am I clear?